this is where it gets totally wild. They use something called light sheet microscopy, where it's just a ton of little super thin slices, unimaginably thin. And then they photograph every slice of each mouse brain. These are millions and millions of images. And then they counted every green highlighter neuron. And this is over 500,000 inputs per brain that they scanned. And each one of these things was mapped to its exact location across uh, 316 brain regions. This was the first complete map of psilocybin and how it rewires the human brain that's ever been done in history. The results we thought were gonna be random. You know, we'd expect them to be pretty chaotic and they were not at all. So the rewiring followed a pattern so statistically improbable. This value in the study is listed as P equals 0 0.00006. That's the odds of it happening by chance. So something very, very specific was happening in the brain. Shop for a cause. Profits fund respite care for families in need. Link in bio.